Jamal Lascelles, Carl Darlow, and you're watching Newcastle Fans TV. Hello Newcastle fans, TV, and welcome to the review of Aston Villa 1, Newcastle 1, which is quite a frustrating night uh, over on Twitter. Actually, a lot of you are upset on Twitter about the results. Um, I'm going to be talking about Matt Sells in a separate video, so this video is just about the game in general. So we're going to run you through the timeline and what we'll think of it as well. So looking at the lineup, uh, there was only one change that was made, which was obviously Kieran Clark coming for Chancellor and Bemba. I got all the other lineups positions right as well. Um, it's not rocket science, I got it spot on, you know, but it's it's frustrating. It is a frustrating night. We'll try and see some positive out of it at the end. Right, let's begin. So four minutes in, Kieran Clark tries to play Codger on side. I'm thinking, oh no, Kieran Clark, no, you add it again, you add it again. But luckily he runs back. Codger probably should have finished it, but Kieran Clark gets back and puts in a challenge. It was a brilliant, absolutely brilliant piece of defending as well. And then Newcastle started a growing confidence as the game progressed, you know. Um, on the 24th minute, Richie plays a little one-two with Hayden. Uh, he, it's a weak shot which Galini saves, and then he pulls it back to Diame, who fluffs it and pings it over the bar. A horrible miss from Diame. We'll, we'll talk about Diame again later on. But Newcastle will start a growing confidence, you know, and then the goal come on the 28th minute, you know, when literally uh, he picks the ball up. Um, Yedlin, who on the, gets played through on the right-hand side, plays a lovely little ball down, and it's an own goal, you know, it's an own goal which is scored. And obviously it's a fantastic goal from Newcastle's perspective because we're 1-0 up at Villa Park. We're, we don't get on with Villa fans. It's a well-known fact because they're always trying to take the make out of Geordies. Uh, but 1-0 up. And then Paul Dummett tries to have a, have a long ranger from literally four minutes later from the 32nd minute. Pings one, which just gets a slight deflection. Just goes wide. Can imagine if that went in? We'll all be going oh, mad if Paul Dummett scored a world, you know. But Newcastle will start to grow in confidence. And then Dwight Gill nicks the ball off Baker. Bearing down one-on-one -on, -one on on the goalkeeper. But Galini saves, and I'm like, oh, you should have scored. You should have scored that. He's got three options there. You can either chip it, a little dink, basically, round the goalkeeper, or go up the other side. And the worst thing you did, you hit it straight at the goalkeeper. It's an awful miss, awful miss, and it, it had haunted Newcastle. We should have scored. So going into half time, though, we're all one up, fairly happy. Newcastle dominated. We'll come out second half, dominate in the second half as well. You know, Villa re weren't in the game at all. Newcastle, by the end of the end of the match, had doubled the amount of shots, you know. Um, and then, 63rd minute, Shelby has a ball, tries the outside of the cross, comes back to Shelby, he then plays it low, Diarmi, eight yards out, more Diarmi, empty net, he puts it wide, oh, side foots it wide, I'm thinking, oh, for fuck's sake, man, uh, for me, more Diarmi, even before this game, I'm not his biggest fan, and I've met, bumped him in the street and all that, into my mate, blah, 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 I know somebody's taking the mickey of that, for me, I just don't rate Mo Diame, and he doesn't get through 90 minutes. He's quite a lazy character. The jury's still out for Mo Diame as well, but we'll try and turn it on as positive later on in the video. But that's that's when Villa started to come back in. After the 65 minutes, it was all Villa until the end of the game. It really, really was. They got a disallowed goal from um, an IU free kick, which yeah, that was marginally just offside. It was the right call, but it was a fucking brilliant looping header. Sells, no chance in goal. It was a, just a fantastic header, but luckily the goal was disallowed. And then we've seen a bit of moment of magic four minutes later with Andre Ayer, who I picked out in the preview, will be their danger man. Goes past a couple of players on the left and just pings one, curls one, and a cannon's off the bar. And not the bar, sorry, the post. And it was a brilliant piece of individual skill. He's so, so unlucky. Newcastle think, poof, we'll luckily get away from that. Um, and then we've seen the, the return of Czech Tio, if literally out of the blue from Neway, come off the bench in ass. And then Rafa was trying to just um, go hold, help, hold on because it was literally one man, well, one one way traffic at this point. And then uh, Villa were dominating a lot and the goal come. Oh, the goal was just horrendous, man. <sighs> right, so people are going to say earlier on the game that uh, Newcastle should have had a penalty when Baker scissor down Gale. Not for me. I think Baker won, won the ball. And people are going to say that um, it wasn't a corner, which it wasn't, but we didn't lose that game because of the referee's decision of a Shelby challenge with a corner. The cross, the, well, the corner comes in in the dying seconds. Goufran's marking his man. He's not tight enough, but Sells is just all over the place. doesn't know what he's doing. He doesn't know whether to come out and collect it or stay, in, or stay on his line. He's in two minds, and it's just an easy goal. It's a really, really poor goalkeeping error as well. The video for Matt Sells is coming on the next video. So three golden chances there. The, the Sells error at the end. And the Diarmi and Gale misses, um, which just the cost Newcastle big time because we doubled the amount of shots. We had loads of possession. 
frustrating, but yeah, we've got a point at Villa Park, which at the end of the season, that might actually come good. It might actually get with promote at that point. You just don't know as well. Um, two positives that come out of the game massively is I think Paul Dummer had a really good game because I keep saying away from home, he's better away from home and look, look he proved that right. Um, and Keenan Clark was literally man of the match for me. Keenan Clark, as you'll see there, he was also everybody else's man of the match. I think he was brilliant at Villa Park. It could have went both ways. It could have been a bit of a nightmare return. It was all stomping ground, and he was absolutely brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. So it's given Rafa a bit of food for thought now, because it looked like we thought that Lascelles, and remember, will be certain first choice, but Keenan Clark is clearly now third choice. He's way, way ahead of Hanley, which is a bit of a shame, because Hanley is literally a beast in the air, you know? So we'll move on to Norwich, who are now top of the league. Newcastle dropped to fifth in the league. Is it a mini-crisis? No. A lot of us on Twitter are really, really unhappy. Um, but we're going to go to Norwich. We've beat Norwich at home at St. James's Park, you know, midweek. The place will just erupt on Wednesday night. We'll have to see how that goes. Um, let me know what you think of the, of the game before any comments down there below. And thank you very much for watching Newcastle Fans TV.